Hello everyone, this is Heart from My Me Me and Me and today's video is about what I wore for the month of March 2017. They are not in order even though they're lined up like this. Um, as usual, I have the new pads that I try for the month on the very top and the one on the bottom are just the one that I already have for quite some time. So let's get started. So this one, I did use a couple of menstrual cups because of work, long hours. I have a small one right here and a big one right here. I also used a sea sponges for this month on my period. The reason why is because I would like to do a video on regards how to clean and how to sanitize your sea sponges. So I will link, I will put the link below on the description if you guys want to check that out, please do. <clears throat> so let's get started. For this month, um, the first day, this one right here, I, it came unexpected because um, the month of February is short. So I'm not really sure where my period is going to start or where it's going to fall. So this one right here is the one that saves me for my first day. So who saves the day? Bat pad from... Um, CD bows. So that one. This one is Alice. It's from uh, Bello um, Paradise. There you go. Down Bello Paradise. Alice pad. This is a turtle pad. This is from Leaping Pad. And this one is a panda bear that I sewn. This one is a dog from Venus um, Pan. A zebra that I sewn or that I made and shark also my um, fox pad and then for the men's star cup backer I've been using a thong liners and front bleeders uh, this Thong liners right here is also acts as a front leader. It's a two-in-one pad. So first I'll snap it in the further button. It will come become a thong liner. And then if I put it on the very end, it become a front leader. So it, it's it's a good menstrual cup backer also on your light days. So that's that. And then my um tampon cloth pad well the reason why I call this tampon because he has a little string there that makes it look like a tampon when you use this or if I use this I will have to tuck it in the string snap it like this in the underwear and then it's a good master cup packer so tampon cloth pad I also use this from Venus pad it's a seahorse for menstrual, menstrual cup backer. <clears throat> now let's start on the top. Um, this is a lion cloth pad. Uh, I like the part where you see the ear. It makes it like a 3D. When my daughter saw this, she said, oh, it's 3D. So this is a lion cloth pad. I also made a front bleeder lion cloth pad now this is one of the special pad that I have the reason why is I asked um, the leaping pad to um, well actually Bianca she's very gracious to help me with my uh, patterns and stuff because I'm not gonna able to make all my pattern with her, with her help it will be possible for me to finish and let you guys enjoy different shapes and patterns so um, one of the pads that she she sewn for me with my pattern is this one it's a B pad right. look at that I'm not sure if you can able to see it but let me focus it there's a frog snap button in it so my pattern B pattern sewn by let me see if you can see it sewn by leaping pad right here and also this one is a front bleeders let me focus that for you guys okay front bleeders giraffe 
my pattern sewn by leaping pad as you can see she also have a tag now on her um cloth bag you might check it out her store i'll put her link down below there you go and then this is the one that i sewn b pattern And there's one right here. The last one is a thong and front bleeder pad. See, this is a front bleeder. And then if you unsnap it, and then you, and then become a thong liner. So it's a two-in-one purpose. And it's a good menstrual backer, menstrual cup backer. So I use it on the, this way, as a front bleeder. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I will put the link of all the pads down below and the link on the video on how to clean and sanitize the the um, sea sponges. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.